Hello everyone, Studio Star here. Today I'll show you how to make a custom health bar in Godot, just like the one I have on screen right now. So, first you want to begin with designing your health bar, which I have done so. Next, you want to separate into two sections, an outline and an inside. The outline is the shape that you want for your health bar, along with any images that you want attached. And the inside is the actual bar part of your health bar. Okay, now we're gonna head into Godot and make the actual health bar. So you can see I have a scene open right here, and I have a, a control node as my root node. So the first thing I need to do is you need to take your images and export and export them as PNGs into Godot. So you can see here I have my out, outline PNG and my inside PNG. Okay, so the first step is to make two texture racks. Like this. And inside of the first texture rack, you want to put your, out, your outline PNG. And in the second one, you want to put your inside PNG. Now you should probably do some adjusting right now to their size to make it look like the original. Alright, so this is what you should have. Okay, now we want to make the inside texture rect an actual progress bar so that we can use it. So the first thing you have to do is uh, you have to create a progress bar and add it as a child of the inside texture rect. Now I'll just disable percentages and you want to make a color for it. So down here in theme override and under styles, you can see that there's a background and a fill. For each one, you just want to make a new one. And for the background, I'll just make it transparent. And for the fill, I'll just give it this nice uh, red color that I've already chosen. Okay. So, uh, the last thing you want to do is that you want to take this you want to sort of align the edges with the size of the inside texture rect, just like this. So basically, it kind of fits into the section. Now you do see that it goes out of the borders, but we're going to fix that right away. So under the inside texture rect, you want to go down to visibility, you want to open it, and then under clip children, you want to set it to clip only. So basically what this does is that it makes this progress bar fit the size of the, this inner texture rect, which makes it not go out of the border. Okay, and let's just do something to check that it works. So we can set the value to 50, and you see that it becomes 50%, you can set it to like 70 or 90, and whatever you do, you see that it does not go out of this border. All right, so I hope this tutorial helped, and if you wanna see more like this, please make sure to subscribe, and you'll also get to see more progress on my game, Chronos Chamber. Well, thank you for watching and see you next time.